Welcome, Scorpio, to your mid-month reading for October. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If you're friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Welcome back, all subscribers and all the new subscribers. Welcome, welcome. Really moving up over here. And cross watchers, always welcome. Okay, guys, finally got my Halloween table going, my Halloween thumbnails. Got the new uh, Halloween uh, intro up. It's the same one from last year. <laughs> but I like it so. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go. What is going on with the beautiful Scorpios? I love my scorpions. Okay. What are you doing? You have fertility. You know, it's crazy because the first thing I keep, well, I'm over here, right? And I just keep hearing, Scorpio, you are on an intense, fast-paced just moving along the professional uh, railroad over here. I just couldn't like this railroad, this train, just like moving. Um, high energy, high paced, money coming in, really setting the tone for yourself. And then you have the imprints just popping out. Talking about that ab abundance, that prosperity, going after your heart's desire, having that heart chakra open, just really pumping it out out there guys just putting everything you you know that you're driven to have really driving to succeed and this is definitely going to help you achieve your goals and I do feel like you know you're just pushing that ultimate accelerator right you're just accelerating right I mean you're just going there's movement choices and decisions in the mid month you're really adapting adapting to these new movements, these new choices, these new decisions, not afraid to take the risks right now. I just feel like you have everything that you need right now, Scorpio, just really in the palm of your hands. Okay. Keeping a straight, you know, it's like you're eagle eyeing, eagle eyeing everything. If I can get those words out, keeping that sharp eye out for any new opportunities, it's like anything that sparks up in your mind, you're like writing it down, like this will be a great, you know, this will be great. I can do this. Just all these fresh new ideas and decisions and I don't know, you guys are just, you're really setting a tone over here to really make sure that you end 2024 out with a bang. Um, yeah, no joke. No joke. You know, I just, yeah, absolutely. You are the star of the show. You cannot deny that you're the star of the show right now. You have all eyes and attentions on you at the mid-month. You are grasping on to all those hopes and dreams, catching people's attention, limelighting, being proactive, taking charge. Yeah, I want to see the emperor come out because I really feel like you're in boss mode. Yep. Let's see what else comes out over here for you. Yeah, I just, you guys, like, wow. And you can feel this energy just sparking. Like, hey, I'm Scorpio. I've got this, right? on the movement choices and decisions yep not allowing any temptation or anything that's that's not good for me or anything that's harmful for me I don't want to you know take any kind of bad risks I'm not going to allow anything that's negative to involve itself in where I'm moving it's almost like if you have something negative to say you can move right over <laughs> or you're gonna get stung okay so definitely yeah, not allowing any obstacles and challenges. Keeping obstacles and challenges far away from your mind right now because you're really on this positive move. It's kind of like if it just feels like, you know what, if something comes in kind of negative, like, you know, but that wasn't moving very well. No, it's going to be like overtaken by that hope, by that star card that's going to say, you know what, just, just give it time. We'll see how it goes. If it doesn't, we'll just rearrange it. Who cares? Right? But that's good, though, because that's keeping you to achieve your goals with not allowing any negativity to set in and make its, you know, make its way, kind of like setting into yourself to make home, right? No, excuse me, you don't live here. No negativity lives here today. 
Not during this time of the month. So I'm just, you know what? You could be working with new people, bringing in new clients, bringing in new things. You might even have a, this new job where you're meeting new people, having, um, you know, new coworkers. However it is, sorry for the voice break, guys. I have a cold. I went to that concert and then came back with a cold. Okay, so, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because it's all about patience and planning, but it's almost like you understand the two pillars. You understand that by having you know, the patience and planning that this is, it's going to take a little bit of time, but it's almost like you're willing to say that that's okay because it's, it's the setup that I need. I'm not worried about it, you know, taking off like a bat out of hell. You know, I'm just getting everything. It feels like whatever you guys are, for some of you are promoting some kind of business. You might be entrepreneurs and you are, you know, uh, discovering these kind of like hidden aspects of how I'm going to put things together, right? But being very aware of, well, if this doesn't happen, it's okay. But being very aware of that negative energy, not allowing it to spark. You understand that there could be some things that are complex about the situation, but it's okay. You're just like throwing them away, right? Because you're going after the fulfillment of wishes right now. You guys are just moving. I just, I see you barreling down the railroad track over here. There's going to be a lot of communication between you and, like I said, clients or whoever. But you have the intentions and the dreams and the goal setting. You're manifesting what it is you truly want, but you're putting in all the hard work to actually get what you want. You're allowing yourself this, this new world. You're, you're uh, dancing with the universe. You're allowing your fate and destiny to come together so beautifully that it's definitely intertwining like yin and yang. Definitely. So you definitely are understanding how this is how this is all smoothly coming together, and it's coming together too smooth. Even if it's a little slow, it doesn't matter. You're seeing it actually work. It's literally coming together, and it's very smooth. Yeah, see, accelerated, but that's what I said. It's all coming together. It's moving, it's, you know, in the end, it's going to move so fast that it's no longer, see what I'm saying? Because I feel like right now it's not super slow. It's not, you know, it's not the, it's not the uh, night of pentacles. This is definitely the ace of, or the uh, night of wands, excuse me. It's definitely moderately moving. Um, so it's not slow as molasses or anything. Um, it's definitely moderately moving passionately. Um, but it is going to take off like a bat out of hell <clears throat> mid-month here. So get ready within the you know next couple of days. You're going to put up something. You're going to do something. These clients are going to just come flooding in towards you. The money, you might get some kind of promotion or raise or might find that second job. Something is happening to where you're going to increase your finances, your attention. Um, if you're a realtor, you're going to, you know, start selling houses. I don't know what the hell is going on over here. There's, there's a lot of movement and finding what it is you need when it comes to this financial career. If you're looking for a job, you might even have two different uh, companies writing you at the same time where you felt like there wasn't a whole lot of action to begin with. And now all of a sudden you're going to have this choice of, well, do I work here or do I work here? I'm going to have to go over the benefits. Oh, well, they have a 401k. They don't. Well, right? So you might have to make the choices and decisions on just the ideas and the aspects of what has, you know, what they have to offer. Dance with the universe. There it is. The world. Yes, you're setting the tone for a whole new accomplishment. A whole new setting. If you guys have already, you know, got a job in the beginning of the month or something, and this might even be where that first paycheck's coming in, and you're like, "Woo! That's setting the tone for, you know, for everything." Now we can have Christmas gifts for the kids, and you see what I mean? Now you feel like, you know, I can save and have what it is I need. Um, definitely feeling like you're getting this news. There's going to be some kind of news and opportunity, and really feeling like everything is uh, playing out for your 
your benefit. You might even find that you're attracting people to you. Um, you might be even be attracting someone to you who has the same um, intensity for work. Maybe you need a work partner, right? Finding someone who has that skill to want to, hey, you know, I want to come work at your restaurant. Okay. But, you know, they have that profession, that uh, professional, right? I just love the Ace of Pentacles on this one. I keep saying the Ace of Pentacles. I haven't seen the Ace of Pentacles yet, but I keep saying it. Why do I keep saying the Ace of Pentacles? Where is the Ace of Pentacles? Why do I keep saying it? That is the Knight of, or the Page of Pentacles. Why do I keep saying the Ace? Is that is that going to be the overall? Guys, I have said the Ace of Pentacles like three times if you haven't realized. I'm telling you, the overall card of this reading has to be the Ace of Pentacles. It has to be, because I keep saying it. It has to be. Because you're getting the death card. You're having this huge, huge transformation within your money. Patience and planning, yeah. Transforming everything around. The future earnings. There's the no temptation again. So whoever you have around you, there could have been a lot of temptation. It's showing that you're coming up with wealth and those future earnings, but you're definitely keeping away from anything that keeps you in that temptation area. That, you know, negative, anything negative away from you. Fulfillment of wishes, nine of cups over here. Having the intentions with the desires and feeling like you have the future renewal over here. Wow. Wow. So you're really, you know, feeling like, you know what, these are where my intentions are. I put out all my intentions for this situation. What do we not see coming? We already know that we, what we don't see coming towards the uh, mid, I would say the mid, mid month, almost to the end of the month area is a lot of communication when it really comes to the accelerated motion. Really seeing the sun coming out of the situation as the Wheel of Fortune is really in your favor. Here comes out the emperor, like I say, really in boss mode, really taking the reins to this situation, knowing exactly where you're, where you're going. You might even be keeping some secret, some secrets to you. Having the ace of cups coming out. Okay. Okay. I'll take that ace of cups. I'm still telling you though, I still see that ace of pentacles and I'm not going to give that up. I don't care if it comes out or not. Because I'm telling you right now, the ace of pentacles is saying, this is where you're flourishing within the situation for the, all of your material um, and your money. So whether that Ace of Pentacles comes out or not, I'm not even going to worry about it. But I know what I see, and that's what I'm using in my intuition. Okay, so whether Spirit wants to give it or not, I just don't care. You are depart, uh, departing from anything that does not fill your cup because you're moving on towards what it is you truly want. Now you got two Aces. So... Like I said, I don't give a crap if Spirit doesn't want to give me the Ace of Pentacles because I know what I've seen and I know what is there. Okay, so the overall card of the reading is the truth in the new beginning with the Justice card and the Fool coming out, sitting in your truth being very balanced about the situation and knowing exactly where you're going. Where are these two cards? The Nine of Pentacles, the positive movement forward with the Eight of Pentacles, and, of course, the Patience, saying that you're no longer, the Patience is in reverse because it says there's no reason now to patiently wait. You keep planting those seeds because you're going to keep seeing the rewards as you're positively moving towards what it is you truly, truly want. Okay, for the overall victory of the situation, to the Ace of Swords again, to having yourself completely recognized within the situation. And that's exactly what you want, okay? And that's exactly it. You are in boss mode, okay?
Okay, so this message from Spirit coming out, please. Do -do 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 is the temple, the wisdom within. Quiet your external noise so that you can hear the way. So, you know, and that's good though too because that's going to allow you to make those movement choices and decisions, allowing you to really, you know, get down to the nitty gritty about the situation. If you feel like, you know what, kind of cross, you know, stuck at a crossroads a little bit, I mean, that is the two of the pinnacles, right? So you might feel like you're juggling two different ideas. You can always weigh your pros and cons to really take the next step find the simplicity to the situation, and then realize, hey, I can focus here and make everything work for me, right? Because it is the wisdom keeper. You have new perspective, study, and learning. Okay. Okay, guys. Until next time. Wait, hold on. I want to look at the bottom of it. If that ace, I was going to say, if that ace of pentacles is down there, I'm going to laugh. What's the next card? Queen of spades. I just don't want to give it to me, and that's fine. That's so funny, though. <laughs> okay, guys. Till next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.